When you can't be in the Goddard School physically, the next best thing is bringing it home with you. Thanks to the dedicated teachers and staff, that's what has happened across the country. So it was a full curriculum, honestly, even while we were closed, um, which I think our parents appreciate it. And I think it helped the children quite a bit. Um, so even though they weren't at school, they were still seeing familiar faces, they were seeing their friends and still having community. At the Goddard School in South Carolina, lots of thought went into education and activities for kids of all ages. All of our children from infancy all the way through our um, kindergarten program actually received e-learning lessons every single week. And our teachers actually came in during those times to film e-learning lessons that they created. They did circle time activities with them. They did music and movement with them. They did yoga with them, art, um, sensory exploration. All of this was done and created so that the children every single week would have lessons to look at to do at home with their parents, and then also still have that connection with their teachers whom they missed during the time that we were closed. In one classroom, kids got to show off the work they did at home when they finally made their way back into the classroom. The children um, chose an animal, an ocean animal, and then they researched the ocean animal. And then when they, um, they did this at home and then they brought it back into the classroom and we were able to have each child present their ocean animal to the class and to the students. And they, that was a project they absolutely loved. It wasn't just them enjoying homework. Students as young as infants even got in on the virtual learning. We did a lot of videos that we sent to the parents so um, we did, we, we wrote lessons for each week um, that were sent home that had a theme, theme about pets or insects or things like that. And we would have, um, we would send some links for books online and um, different activities that the parents could do with them um, that would go with the theme. We would do some videos that would open up with some songs and some greetings. And um, we would show some of the activities that we had laid out on that um, lesson plan, we would do some of those activities on the video um, so that the parents could see what they needed to do with the children. And it's not just about the learning, it's so much more, as Director Kim Groves explains. Keeping that connection with our school families, um, because it was a very challenging time for them to be at home, not at work, um, trying to help the children stay engaged and stay positive while everybody's quarantining. Um, at the same time, it kept them in the mindset that we are still here, that our school is not going anywhere, that we still love them, that we are still supporting them as our families, that we still want our children to return to the school when the parents are ready to bring them back and that the learning never stops. To explore additional topics, please visit goddardschool.com slash parenting under five. For Parenting Under Five, I'm Christina Nicholson. Thanks so much for watching.